fish, fried chicken, the grill's going on the back. There you go, the restaurant right here at the red light. Got the grill going on. That baby girl, just rolling. Okay, this is the uh, Threpset night market here. In this area, it's obviously not set up now because it's the daytime. One night I'll take you all for a tour of the Threpset night market. And just want to say good morning to everybody. I'm headed over to take a walk up and down Jump to you Beach. I want to thank you for joining us. It's a Sunday morning here. Beautiful, beautiful morning here in Patia, Thailand. My goodness, this weather cannot be beat. Um, the sun is hot, but the breeze is cool. But after I get done with this little walking tour, I think today's gonna be a swimming pool day cold beer, cigars, swimming pool, movie stars. It's a uh, world famous chicken mortar place right here with the beautiful owner. Got some Julian next door. And a little bit of road construction going down here on Thurbison Road. And to the left is the Coliseum Show. Beautiful show. It's a uh, cabaret style show. Lady boys. Beautiful show if you're here at Patty. And make sure you check that out. There, there, there's other shows, but I always take any any people that visit me here. I always take them to uh, the Coliseum Show. Beautiful venue. Lovely ladies. Okay, and it will be rounding the horn. I may tell them to drop hey, me around. Folks, good morning. Good morning. Here, Patia. And we just come down on Thrupsa Road. And basically, that way is Patia. <laughs> this way is John Tien Beach. I'm just going to do a slow roll walking tour. My intent is to go from one end of John Tien Beach all the way down to the Crab Restaurant at the end of the beach and just show y'all the scenery. It's Sunday morning, so it's not prime time. But for me, I like doing these walking tours or, you know, at least one every now and then when there's, there's not a lot of people around. And I can just slow roll it. There's no music in the background to be edited out. Nobody to complain about the camera, just me showing you the geography. So without further ado, here we go. Beautiful ladies right there, good morning. Kun Thai coffee, little cafe and restaurante. And for all the camera folks, today I am shooting on the GoPro 10. No battery. Plugged into a, a big power bank. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, no battery in there because it is hot today. So there is no way if I used a battery, this thing would last, you know, y'all see it in 15 minutes. But I'm trying to go the duration between my camera. Got my legs. Little 
little Ricky Racer. Going all the way to the end of this here beach. And you know what we could play on this little walking tour with Channel 7 Elevens. There's a beautiful, nice big. Well, actually, that's not part of 7 Eleven, but it's a pretty good size 7 Eleven. There's one. Folks here in Thailand, you got 7 Elevens pretty much at what, every 100 meters, both sides of the road. 7 Eleven is more important than Walmart is in America. You can do everything at 7 Eleven pay your bills, uh, eat dinner. Yeah, folks, it's, a, it's just an absolute beautiful day. I went for a run the other day down from Soy 6 to, uh, what the hell did I go? Into Walker Street, Valley High, about two clicks. So I ran about two clicks. Camera overheated and this old bag of donuts overheated. I walked a little bit further. Hold on, let me show you over here. This little bar area down through there. And you know what? What what a great time then to try to cut down through there. If you go up to that light and take a right here at the beach, but I'm gonna try to take you through this bar area. Nobody's partying and getting down, try not to get ruined over. And I'm going. Now remember here in Thailand, drive on the uh, left side of the road. So when you're crossing the road, looking both ways, sometimes it's a little bit tricky. This is called Supertown John Tien Walking Street. Okay, and as you can see by the beautiful uh, rainbow, there, uh, I don't wanna say the whole area, but if you're gay, lesbian, uh, whatever the acronym is, gay friends, this is probably where you wanna come check it out. Not all the bars, but can you see what I'm looking at? All right, so here we go. Right here. Super Town, John Tien, Walker Street. Beautiful paint here. On the pavement. Young lady hanging out the laundry. Oh, here. the paint wet. Oh, okay. Sorry, folks. My goodness, the paint right there is not even dry. I hope the blue suede shoes didn't mess up. Nah, there's no no paint on my shoes here. I'll show you. Nope. Okay, place called Guy Guy Bar, Dorothy Show Bar. And you know, throughout the years, these bars have uh, changed names. I don't, I haven't spent a whole lot of time over in here. Oh, they're painting right up there. Okay, but the gentleman said, hey, stay in the purple. They painted that first as a walkway. And you know what? I'll step out of the way. But how beautiful is this? Man, it's a beautiful. Uh, Cockatoo Bar, BC Bar. Yupins, find your pan and Thai food. Wow, it's a beautiful little restaurant in there. What's up, people? Like I said, see when you when you go in the in the early mornings like this, you can you can take your time. L and N bar. Now you're not gonna know which one of these are hopping at night or even open. All right, beautiful paint job going on here. My goodness. I mean, now I smell paint, but when I first stepped off, I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't looking this far. I didn't smell any paint. Okay, this is called the Palace. Divarium Cafe, Bar and Restaurant. Sun Bar. At Home Bar. A damn dog gonna drop the deuce on it. Fresh paint. Dragon Music Lounge. We got some beautiful uh, red velvet chairs here. 
at home bar. Jewel 78. Okay. JQK bar. Agape. And yeah. Just making sure I'm not getting any paint nowhere. So I don't want to pay for this paint. Uh, J and Q bar. This is the venue, and I'll just show you the corner and see if this lady. Yeah, I can go because that person over there is going. What is this? 69 John T. 69 bar. Good morning. Good morning. The venue. Swimming pool. Okay, this place is open from nine to nine. The venue. And you got a little corner spot. This gentleman here's got the uh, sort of like a motorized wheelbarrow. I don't know what you call that exactly. It slips my mind. But what a great concept, right? That is an F-150 right there. Good <laughs> morning, morning. Okay, I'll get out of here and let these folks do the work. They're sitting here working on Cindy. The Farong is over here filming, goofing off. Okay, so pretty cool, pretty cool little area here. In Jontian Beach. All right, let's continue on. What do we got here? We got B&M Bar, nice shade of pink. This place is for sale. Come out here, got a bus standing by. There's a motorbike rental. Johnson Complex Plaza. Right now, which way do I go? Which way? Maybe I'll go this way. Since I'm making this block, I'll kind of make it inclusive. Okay, TBMI, Thai Blind Massage Institute. East Sweeps Residence. And you got a place called M Bar. John Tien Complex. Fitness pack, gym, sauna, steam, swimming pool. They're beautiful colors. That sort of yellow and chocolate brown. Or it's either a flat black, one of the two. And then looking, that's just a cut through from where I was just at right there. Okay. You got Zing Resort and Spa. And whoa, it's starting to get hot. It's starting to get hot. And folks, I'm just getting started. I'm gonna drop about five kilos of sweat so I can drink my beer. Okay, so coming back out. Morning, good morning. We'll get into these bars. Uh, headed down towards the beach. These bars through here, they're not exactly the... Well, once we cut the corner. Three Roses Bar, live music. A beautiful venue here. Beautiful ladies. Uh, cleaning. Wow. Joe's Bistro. Pub and restaurant thing. Yeah, so anyway, what, what a beautiful thing to do, paint that pavement in a color that reflects your brand as to what you have going on. Too bad Bud Light don't understand their customer. This place called a Cannabis Club. Oh, nice white paint here. Fresh coat of paint. 
Okay, now if you'll keep going right through there, up on the left is the, the market with uh, the bar complex and that oregano is a tiny place. We're just gonna keep veering right. This is the Take Care Pub and live music. Yeah, but what a great thing to do to let everybody know what your brand is, what your theme is. Okay, cater to my gay and lesbian friends. Let's paint the damn uh, little alleyway rainbow. That's knowing your brand and knowing your customers. Being true to your brand and knowing your customers, something that Bud Light and all their uh, Harvard degrees can't fucking figure out. Okay? If they went over there and, uh, uh, I'm not getting into that. All you, you saw it, right? Over there, marketing geniuses. Thank you. You saw it, marketing geniuses here. Not so much marketing geniuses at Bud Light. Of course, this is beautiful. That's just beautiful to, to stop and take a minute to look at. It's absolutely beautiful. Since I'm doing sort of a bar tour here, I'm not going to start talking about religion. Uh, Robin Hood Food and Drinks. This place for rent. Come over here and open a bar. Make a million dollars in patio. Just waiting on you. What is this? Sabayadi, Norway? Scandinavian, European food. Alright, now I guess I should start pointing over here. Now this is a place I want to check out here called the Lone Star Saloon. It's, uh, you know, Southwest United States theme. Got cactus. Beautiful lady up there and Daisy Dukes on a covered wagon. That place is called Infectious. Music, sports, and classy ladies. And there's, you know, massage parlors through here. Boom, there's another 7-Eleven. And then, boom, there's another 7-Eleven on the corner. So in case I miss one, we're at three. We're at three 7-Elevens. I can count on Sesame Street. Ha, 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 ha. Three 7-Elevens. This is, uh, what's it, scent, restaurant, and drink. Nice little restaurant. Got American breakfast in there. This uh, don't got the prices, but you got all kind of. Uh, looks like a full menu. I just say full menu. Full Western American European menu in addition to all the Thai food. Okay, but one one more shot here. Boom! I got to go to the Lone Star Saloon. Did I already count that 7-Eleven? Yeah, we're at three. Little subway peeking out next to 7-Eleven. Maybe I should cross the street and shoot over to this side due to the sun. Or would that be too far away? So you can't see these signs up here unless I just slow roll it. Sandy Gold. I'm always shooting into the sun. So I'm not Steven Spielberg. Again, it's a Sunday morning, so everybody's covering from Saturday night. Okay, GoPro shut down number one. And then I had the battery out, it's working, and I've Take it out of the media mod, plug it back in, and then, and then it says enough, not enough power. Anyhow, this is uh, somebody's pies, Tinny's. Tinny's famous Aussie pies. Oh, wow, look at those pies right there. Man, take a look at that. I don't even have to go inside. Look at those pies. Oh, my goodness, that looks delicious. They've got a full selection of beer. Hey, I got to come here and eat. What we got here? American barbecue pork ribs. Let's see, mashed potato salad, 350 baht. Oh yeah. Got beef lasagna, fish and chips. 
and they're open eight to zero eight to twenty one hundred. So zero eight to nine p.m. All right, nice wheelchair ramp right there. Super Town, John T. and Walker Street. And so basically, this this thing sort of makes like a like a L shape, sort of like LK Metro. And you know what? Why not go ahead and complete the tour? Again, 350 baht for a meal at that spot. Those pies look outstanding. My goodness. Dick's Cafe jumped in. 12 to midnight. Closed on Tuesdays. We got Boo Boo. Fulkered body or not body shop, barber shop here. It looks like it is open. Face massage 400, clean ears 100, shampoo 100, and 140 baht on a haircut. Okay. So obviously this this little complex is just uh, you got some gentlemen sitting in there a place called boy gaga uh, anyhow I'm gonna head continue on towards the beach there's a French bakery delicies get the right angle on the dangle Folks, it's like I talk about Patia, John TM. There's so many restaurants, bars, massage parlors, uh, places that have live music. Bongs, John TM, dispensary, and edibles. more little bars right through here there's just so much there's so much to see do go eat you could go to a different place in patty of thailand three times a day to eat and you'd never be able to eat at all the restaurants here never take you years All right, so a cool little bar complex here, if that's what you're looking for. Um, but man, that Lone Star Saloon, that's what I'm got on the radar now. And you know what? No, I didn't, no, I didn't. I thought I passed. Right, let me get my bearing. Okay, we're still going good. Beautiful condo buildings here. Okay, let me take a, take a breather. A place called Fat Bunny Cafe and Bakery. You got the uh, what is that? Fire Bike Bar, Valhalla Bar and Restaurant, Oscar Barbershop. Got a few food stalls right there. Lamb kebabs. Folks, here, here in Thailand, all you got to do is walk about 50 meters. You get some of the best food in the world. Best local food. Hemingway's Restaurant and Bar here at the Butele Jonathan Beach Condo Complex. I don't think I've ever been in Heming Hemingway's. But we'll just take a look at the sign here. Mondays is quiz night, Tuesday $1.99 pizza, Wednesday's pie, let's see, ooh, roast dinner, Saturday, Sunday, 270 baht. Okay, all right, so Hemingway's is right here, this little corner spot, beautiful. On the outside, a lot of wood, right here at this condo complex here. 
Okay. Man, getting some good footage. I haven't even made it to the beach yet. It's the king of Thailand. If, uh, if you're not familiar, then we'll move right along. These beautiful flowers, my goodness. So it's just nice to stop and pause and enjoy the simple things in life, like a beautiful tree or beautiful flowers or a beautiful lady, especially the ladies. Looking for a Western Union. You got a Western Union right here in front of this Krung Tree Bank. And this gentleman right here has got uh, fish, chicken. You see you got the barbecue grill on the back. And you just ride around with that on the barbecue. You get a customer and pull over and it's ready to go. Okay, now this is called Country Road 2. Country Road 2, another popular bar here. I'll go ahead and cross the street, I guess, so you can see a little bit better. Should have been on the other side the whole time. Due to the lighting, I'm not getting run over. Ooh, viper bar, go-go. Okay, so you got a little go-go right here. So dog out front. All beer 75 from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. And it's a go-go. What is it? Viper, a go-go. What's up there, Ren 1010? Okay, so now I can shoot across. That's uh that's country road. Place called Toto, which is a Italian restaurant, a pizzeria. A little supermarket and boom the bullet bar uh, that's a hopping happening bar at least it was last time I was in there that's where the full Pinot band from the Hard Eight Saloon at least in January they did they played there like three nights or four nights whatever it is to go over to Hard Eight play the other nights great bar uh, wonderful time there shout out to all the ladies so as we come along, Panacea Bar and Restaurante. And then this is John Tien Plaza Condo Hotel. Beautiful building. Right there with the view of the water. How could you beat that? Alright, moving right along. Look at this beautiful, beautiful wide open area right here nice green space okay so Panacea is open early on a Sunday it's what they cry <laughs> okay that money exchange is open on a Sunday morning bamboos a little small bar there and there's another 7-eleven how many does that make I think that makes four and just like that, we're here at the beach. We'll go ahead and cut across. Try not to get ruined over. Cut across, and then here we are at the beach. Beautiful out there today. Just a little bit of, a little bit of wind causing a little bit of waves. There's looking looking back at where we came. Now, I plan to walk all the way to the end of this here beach. See that corner thing over there is for sale or rent. Prime real estate. Looking to start a business. I plan to walk all the way to the end of this here thing. But man, it's already starting to get hot. I'm sweating. And these little beach chairs here are calling my name. I'm going there. I don't know what they rent the beach chair for. I don't even remember. You just go in there, plop down, get you a beer. You want some food? They'll cook you some food or go get you some food. 
what is it, 30 back, a dollar, dollar fifty. I don't know what they're charging for the actual beach chair rental. Oh, I didn't show you this this thing here. Let me go around the front and show you. If you haven't seen any of my other walking tours of John T and Beach. This thing is what me and my buddy used to call the ugly boat. When it was being built, all you could see was this concrete, right? So for the longest time, it was just this bottom concrete. We didn't know it was going to have a beautiful sign or a sculpture or anything like that. So when they were building the place, like, hey, man, where do you want me to meet you? Now, again, it just had this concrete. It looked like a concrete boat. My buddy, Doc Wayne, said, ah, just meet me at that ugly boat. <laughs> and so it's like an ugly duckling that turned into a swan because now it's a beautiful sign with greenery a sculpture it's beautiful anyhow but back when it was just that it looked like a concrete boat all right gentlemen taking off on a jet ski over there look at these beautiful beautiful palm trees shading the walkway here how can you beat this I don't know it's hard to see you know when you're filming on an action cam you can't see what my human eye is seeing it's not going to be as beautiful you can probably just see the outline of those hills over there little small mountains whatever you want to refer to them as it's beautiful and then looking back over this way at Kolarn it's so clear you can see it very clearly You'll notice here, uh, here in Patia, John Tien Beach, they've got roped off areas for swimming. For safety, so you don't get tangled up with any of the motorboats or the jet skis. Alright, this gentleman here walking around with everything from shrimp to uh, spring rolls. And he'll just come around while you're sitting at that... Uh, we just got fruit while you're sitting in your beach chair. It's just a beautiful day. Right, let's keep pushing. Let's keep pushing. All right, I got some squid. These are the uh, flattened out dried squid. Um, oh, we've got some shrimp over there, some crab. That's it. So, all you gotta do is sit around, the seafood will come to you. Well, little restaurant got a full patio, got a full house. Just shaded by them trees nice and cool through here so if you if you think it's it's hot outside like, oh it's too hot to go to the beach no it's not because you just get underneath here there's a nice breeze coming through it's like air conditioning little squirrel over there here in thailand i don't know if you can see him see those squirrels i see that gray squirrel Let's see if I can get a little bit closer. There's a gray squirrel. See a gray squirrel and a, a black squirrel here. Talked about them before. Let's see if I can get close to those squirrels. See the squirrel? He's like a gray and white. But I've seen a solid black squirrel. 
you got excellent pole skills. Hey, buddy. How you doing, man? Look at that. He's nimble. Yeah, so predominantly in America, what we got? Like brown squirrels? Here, you've also got jet black, gray, gray and white. Gentleman selling uh, bracelets. Little dirt bike. Got Suzuki. As I've talked before on the videos, you know, a lot of people here on Sundays that come to the beach. So parking spots aren't as readily available as they are during the week. Yeah, quite a few people out and enjoying the sun. All right, coming up on uh, Soy 5. here in Thailand you say soy ha that's Chonburi patty and immigration so if you're a full on like myself you'll get to know that soy very well if you stay here long enough shout out to the friendly folks over there at immigration and what we got going on here is uh what do you call this windsurfing is it the windsurfing or I don't know I'm not big on windsurfing water sports type stuff anyhow right down there soy 5 you go down on the right is immigration so if you need to uh, go to immigration just tell the motorbike taxi driver John 10 soy ha like ha 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 or you can say soy 5 they know but John 10 soy ha they'll get you to uh, immigration either uh some weights there i think it looks pretty heavy like a little makeshift beach not a makeshift beach a makeshift gym you got uh pull-up bars you uh sit-ups there everybody over there is chilling in the shade because the sun's coming up over the building so in the morning you know to say what one o'clock two o'clock all that all the buildings over there shaded right now volleyball nets and got a lifeguard stand here um they're not everywhere but you'll have lifeguards out here on station various spots You see, and this is another swimming area roped off for the jet skis. And the motorboats don't come in tangled up with the swimmers. Wow, beautiful lady out there in long pants and a t-shirt. Look folks, Thai girls, Asian girls, they're, they're not even wearing bikinis. Okay. And this may uh some of y'all may disagree but you know girls from the province they're they're not into wearing bikinis and bathing suits they wear blue jean shorts and a t-shirt there's another 7-eleven so what, what are we up to maybe i missed one but there's another one right there i can't even remember how many it's a four or five next to the opal house Yeah, so you, you see an Asian chick that's in a, a bikini or a thong or something like that. Not everybody. But it might tend to indicate she's either A, married to a Falun, or B, I don't know, maybe, just maybe she's a bar girl. Or C, maybe she's very progressive and she wants to wear a bikini, and that's up to her. But traditionally, traditionally, you, know, you go out to the province, you're not going to see a fucking bikini. Let me just tell you that. You're going to see same in the Philippines. When they go swimming, shorts, a t-shirt, or... they're not showing all that skin. All right, beautiful flags through here. Oh, 
Oh, what I was going to talk about, I went that run the other day, and my legs was hurting so bad the next morning, because that's the first run I went on in a while. Folks, my legs are so sore, I could barely walk. And so, I let them recover for two days. Now I'm on this walk, and I'm, I'm letting the last bit, working out the last bit of soreness on this here walk. So I think after today, tonight I'll be fine. I'll be ready for another run tomorrow. Those beautiful Thailand flags right there. Coconut, fresh coconut juice. Yes, yeah, so like I said, my legs. Oh my god, my legs are jello. Like right now, they're not really hurting. They're like itching. You know, when you're about to get over that soreness of a workout. You just want to rub them it's more like not pain but they're itching coming up on john tian boathouse wine and grill and this is where the elvis show is if they're still got it going on i think the sign said so but a great time every time i've ever went to the elvis show let me show you because I'm not sure if I'm going to be filming the opposite direction. But there you go. There's the John T. and Boathouse. Hotel, bar, and restaurant. And we do have the Elvis out front, the signs. So there still is the Elvis show, apparently. Usually it's on the weekends, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but I don't know. I'd have to get over there and check that, check that sign out. I'm messing up this GoPro. I look down like I, sometimes I got the wrong angle on the thing. I think I need to point it up a little bit the way I'm holding it. So we'll come down these stairs here. Yep, it's nice and sturdy. Don't look like it, but it is. Maybe that's a better angle on the dangle. And you got folks selling uh, all kind of beach toys and stuff. Wow, beautiful lady. Beautiful ladies selling them beach toys. Okay, there's another 7 Eleven. And that's worth going up there. This here 7 Eleven. Fairly new. Got a big old parking lot. Beautiful. Even got a little side business over there. 7-Elevens, you know, used to you just stuck one in the corner somewhere, but now they all have parking. They're all brand new buildings. They got parking. Up with the times. Back down on these guys. Blue suede shoes. Don't fail me now. Jim chilling with his dog. Chilling. Everybody just chilling in the shade. Oh, sitting over there was little baby girl. And grandma's with her baby girl. And making me miss my little baby girl. Alright, let's come up here and take a look at what food options we got going on. You see, you're sitting here at the beach. The, the people with the... Uh, beach chairs they'll help you get whatever you want and you can just walk out here this young lady's got corn uh everything chicken fish made the order got the barbecue grill going right there a couple chunks of meat on there oh yeah and then this young lady's got like hot dogs and fish balls and there's like little weenies wrapped up. Giant octopus restaurant across the street. Fatima, she loves 
Thailand. Why? Because fucking mom loves food. Food is her expertise, her number one subject. Shout out to you, baby. Miss you and the babies. These damn pigeons. Folks, pigeons spread disease. They spread the whole Ronda virus. Need to be thinned out. <laughs> can't stand pigeons. Amazing creatures, but I can't stand them. They shit on your, your spot. Okay. Lovely ladies here walking around selling uh, bathing suits, fruit, and anything fried, like from uh, fried chicken wings, shrimp. Spring rolls. We buy some sunglasses. Beautiful lady over here washing dishes, looking beautiful. Okay, roll around this group. Um. And we're still pushing southbound. Let's check 7-Elevens. Boom, there's another one. What are we up to? Six? Six 7-Elevens? Okay, now here's, a, here's what I'm talking about. Here's a black squirrel and a gray squirrel. Where's he at? Right there. See that black squirrel? He, he's black as uh, midnight. Looks like a bat. Looks like a bat with a tail. Okay, and then you got a gray one. Where'd you go, man? Oh, he's way up there already. <laughs> he's got something in his mouth. Oh, the dude's feeding him the nuts here. Look at that dude. So cute. He's like a gray and white. He's hanging upside down like a bat. And then over there is the black one. And like I said, this gentleman's feeding him some... Uh, Nuts. Oh, there's two. There's one up there. And there's one right here. Just uh, solid black. So you can see them up there. It's so easy to see that dark black against that green. It's feeding in the peanuts, I reckon. Huh. Continuing, continuing southbound. Man, my legs are starting to feel good now. They're starting to feel wonderful. It's not my calves, it's just like my, my front. Like somebody hit me with a baseball bat. From my knees up to my wang. In front of my legs. Okay, boom, spotted another 7-Eleven, right over there. How many is that, eight? Next to Branch Coffee, Blue Beach. Coming up on the playground. Yeah, right there, a little small 7-Eleven. A little motorbike parking. Beautiful little Angry Birds playground. I can just see Force G and Maria going off that slide. Good things come to those who wait. here plenty of trash cans no reason for anybody to throw their trash on the ground here in patty plenty of trash cans john t and night market 
place fires up around 2 somewhere near 2 30. you can sit there sort of watch the sun go down great food up in there but you can sit there on that rail and uh, drink your beers wow beautiful beautiful ladies all time women are beautiful somebody said I'll give you I'll give you a dollar for every tight lady you can show me that's not beautiful you, you couldn't even buy a fucking cup of coffee passing all these flag poles there he's still pushing southbound like a like a champion more food going on hello copacabana this tall condo building there beautiful pool area out front sort of obscured by the vegetation but it's like a beautiful pool area At some point during this little walk and talk, I'm gonna start wanting a beer. And so when you're doing these videos, as Fatima says, a video. Hello, sweaty crap. When you're doing these videos, it's easy to get sidetracked with a cold beer and a beautiful woman. Hey, I'm a man. I'm not apologizing for being being a man. Big problem in the West. People are apologizing for being men. Okay, so we're still clipping southbound, and off to the port side is another 7-Eleven next to the Wombat and Kiwi Bar over there. That's another popular place. Every time I come by, they got a crowd. How many 7-Elevens is that? What are we up to? Yeah, that's a full house over there. Sports, coffee, and food. Tulip House and the Black Horse. Folks, I'm clipping now. I'm starting to work out this, uh, this soreness, this acid, and the old muscles. I feel like I, I could walk all day. Beautiful lady. Okay, coming up on the Sea Breeze, John Tien Resort. There's a weed spot, Cafe Amazon. And looks like the old GoPro ain't shutting down now because I'm out of the, the direct sunlight. Oops, right angle on the thing up here. Now what is that off into the distance right there at the light? What do I spy? What do I see? But another 7-Eleven staring back at me. Yeah, got a little music going down. Folks, big family just having a good outing on the beach. Beautiful ladies. And a couple of, make that a trio of gentlemen out here on the guitars. What's up, buddy? <laughs> All right. I had to come back jam with them gentlemen. Where they're located is right across from this here 7 Eleven. And I've done lost track. How many 7 Elevens is that? Hey, remember seven, eight, somewhere in there. Little dog here chilling. 
chilling in that cool sand. Still pushing southbound. This is Chaldoy. Ramen place. Folks, I hope I'm not going too fast. I mean, a lot of the scenery seems to be the same, right? I think it's five clicks. It's five kilometers. One end of the beach to the other. You know, busting them out of cold chum. Just grabbing the chair right there. Young lady over there joined the Leo. I'm a scene high man myself. I like to be a scene. If you want a stronger beer, hit the chom. Sort of like the red horse. A little cheaper, a little stronger. I'm not saying it's a bad taste or it's, uh, it's an okay taste, but it's not for me. Because it makes me crazy. Same as red horse. I can't drink chom or red horse without the risk of a crazy night happening. Speaking of crazy nights. Hey, shout out to my buddy the other night, man. I won't say your name. For the location to security purposes thank you very much man for wow a wild night folks i ran into my buddy on the street over there i'll just say in patio bought me some beers like hey man let me show you this place whoa that was a cool place um i used to hang out at a place called baby dolls so if you ever been to baby dolls then you'll know sort of what this place is about that i'm talking about paradise don't remember the name of it wouldn't put it out there if i did because i don't want all you motherfuckers piling up in there when i try to go up in there and have a good time thank you very much man for a night out on the town i really don't remember much after that i remember saying something about man i'm going to get some pizza ended up getting some pizza at that little spot on soy six they got like two pieces of pizza and a heineken and a beer for I think what 200 baht. I remember chomping down on some pizza. And the next thing you know, I woke up at home. I'm like, what the hell happened? I'm looking around. I got any ladies in here? Didn't have no ladies. And I knew that I went straight home from that pizza place because I had that Heineken. You know, usually if I'm in the bars, I'm drinking uh oh cute little doggies. <laughs> See, usually if I'm drinking beer sing, right? When I go there to eat my pizza, I order a Heineken. So I woke up, I had a Heineken uh, next to the bed. And I was like, damn, I must have ate that pizza and came straight home by myself like a good boy. Anyhow, man, thank you very much for that wonderful night out on the town. Thanks for showing me that place. And uh, we'll have to get together again soon. And what I'll do is just put it out there in a post or something and say, meet me in the same spot I met you at before, and then we'll be able to meet up, man. All right. Now, the, the effects of that night, the other night, is, I mean, I was wiped out for two days. Between that run and that night of partying, I was, I was combat ineffective for one day lick of my wounds the second day now i'm back on the attack can't keep a player down for long my friends sometimes you got to take a pause lick your wounds but right back on the horse right back on the tractor you got to get busy living or get busy dying because there ain't no fucking in between This is this cool place I always talk about underneath this tree over here. Uh, it's called Italian Pizzeria Fellini Beach. And a beautiful sitting area underneath that beautiful tree. A 
Oh no, what do I spot but another 7-Eleven? How many is that? I don't lost track. I mean, you'd have to have a piece of paper and a pencil to write down how many or you lose track. There's just too many to keep track of these 7-Elevens. Right here at Bloomington China Road. Beautiful big 7-Eleven, plenty of parking. Man, these 7-Elevens here, nice. All right, this is Grand Junction House. Condo building right here. And the blue suede shoes are still pushing me southbound. You know, folks, when uh, like right now, the current shape that I'm in, carrying around 30 extra pounds. Like I said in the previous video, when I took a run, went on that little run the other morning, only fat people sweat. And I can say that right now because I'm a fat bastard. I'm an old bald-headed bastard. I think you could add one more descriptor. Okay. One more descriptor. I'm an old bald-headed fat bastard right now. I am. Got a, got a fucking head like a pumpkin sitting on my shoulders. It's my fault. I let up off that hammer in 2019. Well, 2020. Eating Filipino food, drinking cheap beer, locked down like a hostage, put them 30 pounds on me. And now every time I roll out, I sweat. It's like my fingers are swelling. Why? Because I got too much uh, fat on board. Fat's predominantly water. If you get all this fat off of you, you can go out and run for 10 clicks, you barely sweat. Ain't no fat on your body. Fast like a fast like an electric blanket fur coat filled with water. Just keeps you too hot, too immobile. Makes you sweat like a beast. Sweating like a hooker sitting in church on the front pew on Sunday morning. That's how bad you sweat. Wow, beautiful ladies. GoPro can't zoom that far. Wow, absolutely stunning. Ladies are beautiful over there. All right, got some chilling playing, playing with the ball on the beach. All right, hello, hello Rambutan. Hello, 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 my friends. How are you? So I did crowd. Most people, I don't want to say most people. Some people are gonna duck the camera. Some people don't give a fuck. And some people want to be on camera and that gentleman wanted to be on the video so shout out to you man thank you very much um, over to the left what do i see but another 7-eleven on the corner smaller one how many is that Still pressing. Old bald headed fat bastard fingers starting to swell together like an old woman. Taking her fluid pills. The only way to get rid of that that uh this fat that I got on my body is to sweat it out. Stop eating too much and take your ass around the track it's pretty pretty simple you don't need to go to jenny craig that beautiful lighthouse there beautiful beautiful trash can note to the philippines uh, if you want people to stop throwing their trash on the ground you got to put up some things called a trash can those big blue things you just saw. Once you put up the big blue things, then you can get people not to throw their trash on the ground. And when there's no trash cans, 
They ain't gonna put the shit in their pocket. What can you do? Beautiful lady, tight jeans and a uh, machete. And I got about a hundred meter stretch here where this camera is going to be subjected to uh, direct sunlight. The direct sunlight ain't nobody out on this stretch of beach right here. Now there's a little bit of trash out there only because it's Sunday morning. Okay, so Saturday night, obviously, everybody's out there partying. But look, you already got people on the station cleaning up. So in a couple hours, uh, this place will be clean as a whistle. Young ladies on the station. But again, you know, anytime after a Saturday night, people partying and drinking, you can have a little bit of trash out. Not much compared to the P.I. The P.I. is place to be covered with trash and it stay there till the end of time. But look how clean. Look how clean this lady is uh, taking care of her territory here. Her beat, her uh, zone, whatever you want to call it. Look at her. Ain't not one piece of trash. She's on the station. Still clipping it. Still clipping it. Legs, they're feeling better. Feeling better by the kilometer. Better by the kilometer, my friends. There's a fish spa where you go there and put your feet in them tanks and them fish will eat all the dead skin off your feet. Feels like little jolts of electricity. Yeah, try it once, but if you got sensitive skin, I don't recommend that you try it. If you got real sensitive skin, uh, I mean, you should be, I'm gonna say raw, but be irritated for days. But everybody got to try it once. I tried it when I first came here, but not something I want to do on a daily basis. Okay. Still pushing. Power cord out of the way. There's chicken on the stick, chicken breast on the stick. I got a beer scene calling my name. They're saying, Marquitos, come over here and sit in one of these lounge chairs and drink a big bottle of beer scene. What is that? No, drink two? Well, that's even better. Sometimes you gotta listen to your inner self, you know? You know when you got that little devil standing on your shoulder? Y'all listen to him? always do <laughs> sometimes he steers me in a good direction most of the time he don't <laughs> uh, they do say in one movie it's not it's not that he doesn't trust people or it's not the people that he doesn't trust it's the devil inside <laughs> okay Another stretch of beach, and you can look here, this place is clean. No problem. A lot of the vendors, you know, they police up their own area. Just like over there, young ladies on a, on a rake, sweeping the beach, combing the beach. Another restaurant with a full house.
chewing a little pineapple. Oh, a little baby. Got water in an ice truck. So we're here bringing ice from a. Uh, that's insulated. Doesn't seem to be leaking water too much. Got a parachute in the sky. Got one parasailer over here. And boom, look at that. I look to the left and what did I see? Another 7-Eleven, Soy 13. All right, young lady uh, drinking on Big Chong. You know, I don't think I'm gonna edit this video. I might cut out a couple of parts, but be lightly edited this won't be a movie this will just be a, a raw unedited walking tour and again some people scrutinize these types of videos frame by frame and they love them all right here's a D beach pub and restaurant oh Devery 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 a beautiful condo building in the back there right here at John Tien Soy Let's see, uh, Soy 14 Ooh, watch my angle on the dangle 04 tractor pull them in the New Holland tractor over there Southbound. Yeah, all these folks cleaning up. These got them a set of tongs there. You no, know, they all got a set of tongs. The tongs like the size of the tongs when I uh, do my charcoal on my shisha. Now she got salad tongs. It's just trash patrol. It's like walking the flight deck. This could happen over in the PI. But somebody would have to pay them. That would take money out of somebody's pocket, somebody's budget, which will end up in their pocket and they won't do it. Beautiful ladies. Beautiful ladies everywhere. Hello. All right, now speaking of trash, right? Here you go. Best dressed garbage men in the world, right here. Look at that brand new garbage truck. Look at these uniforms. They got a different color uniform. They got pink, red, blue. I think they got a different color for every day of the week. It just amazes me. They're always happy, listening to music riding on a new truck shout out to our friends keeping patio beautiful i'll well, give more footage of these dudes the people in the, in the pi witness what's called a garbage truck see if you have a proper garbage truck you can operate it with less personnel and you can compress it and put more in there maybe one day Rome wasn't built in a day over there. <laughs> Whoa, little dude. They're real strong. Hey, you know, these lovely ladies on the trash patrol. 
especially the little shorty over there in the pink hat the far right she is cute Okay, look to my left. What did I see? Another 7 Eleven looking back at me. Thanks to the summer beach in. What is that? Alright, so I did a video here before. Right here, Soy Chaya Brook, Jaunty and Beach Road. This is the fish market. So in the mornings, fishermen show up here. You can come out and go sheep good deal on seafood and again this Chia Brook Road Some beautiful trees yeah so check out that video I was filming that on the FX3 footage is outstanding but I'll just do a quick flyby here with the GoPro see what's shaking obviously it's not the prime time of day to come out here and buy stuff right not in the hot sun all right so we're officially in meltdown mode Pull that battery out, it's swelled up. I put it back in, forced it back in there, said so go back to work. Back to work. It's activity through here. People are uh, mending nets. Pulling in boats. Buddy's way here. Beautiful ladies out here mending the nets. The gentleman's pulling a boat out there with the uh, tractor. There's what I'll do. I'll try to walk around without getting in anybody's way. Without this dog biting me, biting my leg. This gentleman fixing the nets. down here to the ocean by the mind baby the free fish by the mind could be putting that in the pocket we ain't playing around old Massey Ferguson oh yeah we put this gentleman put this gentleman out here He's on his way. Now he's coming up to hook up to this gentleman. Plus, I say it's warm. It's it's hot right now on the side sun. Ain't no lie, it's hot. That's what these folks do every day here. A lot of effort, a lot of labor to go fishing the way they do. Try to get close in here. The GoPro, you gotta get right up on them. Well, so you got a stick over there. I don't want to get too close. The fine line between trying to get the footage and then disturbing people that are doing hard work and I'm just holding the camera. He's got his grandson or his son back there helping. I'm just going to put a stick through that loop. There you go. And then the film is going to crank off on this massive furniture. Get that boat in the water. Okay. All the way to the water. Blue suede shoes, don't fail me now. What's up, people? 
he just drive that tractor out into the surf. Look at him. Look at him go. Just like that. Got another boat one. So this gentleman and his son or his grandson or his nephew, whatever. They put a motor out. This gentleman is on his way to, to hook somebody else. It's a constant process. Look at that young man. What do you think that dude? 11 years old? 11 years old. He could probably operate that boat by himself if he had to. Look at him go. Shout out to you, sir. To the captain and the first mate on that vessel. May you be safe out on the water tonight. We'll get closer, folks. I don't want to soak in the blue suede shoes. There you go. Just fire it up. You got a propeller on the end of that thing. Manhandle it. Look at this dude. Here he goes again. I can sit out here and watch this shit all day. You know, how many times you get to see a, a damn tractor go surfing? Look at him. <laughs> Oh, he ain't babying that tractor. He's not babying that damn tractor at all. That's a tough ass tractor right there. Oh, what a brother. Well, folks, he, he ain't messing around. He's, he's doing like... What's he doing? He's doing like one every two minutes? He's not screwing around. It's not like, hey, hang out. It's like, he's just turning and burning. Look at here. By the time I said that, he's already got old blue, big blue here all ready to go. Peeling out. Hitting the gas. Like, dude, you better hold on. You better hold on. I ain't messing around. He's whipping this one. Look at this folks, risking my life to get this footage. No, I'm just kidding. He takes a stick with him. He keeps that stick. That stick is the hit. Dude over there rocking a speedo. You may proceed. All right, and you got the folks over here that are going to hook on to the land-based winch up there. You'll have to check out my previous video to see the land-based winch. But there's a winch sometimes up on the road, all the way at the road, and they just hook on to it, and they just pull them out with the winch. So, I mean, obviously the tractor's got to put them in the water, but coming out of the water, I think it's a team effort. You know, tractors, winches, whatever they got to do. But this winch is running all the way up to the road. And again, check out my previous video. And you'll see a good close-up look at those winches. You know what? I got to come off this beach, so I might as well just go up there and show you on this video. Setting, resetting the net. Again, getting ready for another another outing. Now he's signaling to the dude way up here at the road what he wants him to do. How far up they want to go? Just hand signals. And you can see they're still pulling it up. Some sort of steer. signal to stop just like that <laughs> the 
And this young lady here will help out moving the rope over. And then you got the, the power unit up here, the winch. Folks, this is the tour that just keeps on touring. And again, there's several winches stationed here. They can wheel them around. But it's a team effort. Pulling these boats in and out of the water. Come in, offload their catch, reset the nets. Get put back in the water, go back out. And so here we go. That's your uh, power unit. on how old this thing is. It looks, it looks a little dangerous, but this is what this gentleman does every day. Signals. That chick down there is throwing up the hand signal because you can't see down through the water. This guy's uh, vision, there's a defilade, so he can't see the boat down the water. He's got to depend on that girl down there who's watching the boat at the water and told him what to do. Just based on hand signals. distracting people like that when they're working but how the hell else do you get the footage i try not to distract them too much for too long but pretty interesting right so this is a busy even though it's the beach it's basically a you know a pier fisherman's uh wharf what do you call it it's a fish market without a pier, without a dock, without a place to tie off boats. You just got to beach them. I'd love to go out fishing with these guys. Okay, so let me get back on 7-Eleven patrol. Did I miss any 7-Elevens? I don't think so. Still pushing southbound. Uh, function check. Okay, all systems are in the green on my body. Function check on the camera. Well, it's recording. You may proceed. This young lady here is cooking in the back of that truck right there. So just pull up, tell her what you want. She's got shrimp, fresh shrimp in there, cooler. That girl's beautiful. My goodness. If I did don't get jealous, baby. The Lord said, you shall be a man. And instilled in me a certain set of traits I can't be fucked with. There's another. It's like a Ten Commandment. Thou shalt look at beautiful women. Tablets, but he ingrained it into my genes, my genetics. Y'all shout. Hey. My goodness. 
Van Van Beach. This is uh, BK Golden Bay. Uh, it doesn't look like it's open. Whoa, going strong on them little quiet electric scooters. And what do we got off to the left here? What's that call? Cetus Beachfront. Big tall uh, condo building there. I can't see the pool area for the vegetation. But I'm assuming there's a very nice pool area in front of that place. to the beach got one older lady coming in in a bikini cafe le mom or pizza spot the babies are rolling strong i didn't hear him coming up on me he scared the heck out of me <laughs> that's a crew right there A local spot over there, grilled pork, grilled chicken. But he got a little grill over there, like I got at the crib, a little red grill. Yeah, if I did my bought that grill years ago, check out that video. She kept telling me I was too drunk to barbecue. I said, Baby, there's no such a thing. There's, not, there's no such a thing as being too drunk to barbecue or too drunk to fish. Not to a redneck. folks you can see up on the port side well let me give this a shout out this is royal thai pavilion john tian beach little spot very quaint my buddy stayed in there years ago just seeing that building brings back memories shout out to you pablo Okay, so coming up on the port side of the aircraft, we do have yet another 7-Eleven store. I'm not sure how many that makes. We have a good size 7-Eleven, a little bit of parking. And Joma's got a bucket of shrimp. Look at that shrimp. Get it crap. We really gotta go to the shrimp here. Shrimp is gonna be it. Alright, so another 7 Eleven at the big market, John T. A place called Rescue Coffee. Got an ambulance up there. Looking down through there. Soy 16. There's 1669 Restaurante. Continuing southbound. That quaint little restaurant there. What's that called? Marmories? I think that's what it is. Written in cursive. Here's a note. If you're going to make a sign or a logo, be very careful about writing it in cursive or some funky font because English is my primary language and I barely read that. that that real strange cursive font never get too uh, clever on a font on a logo or a sign or your branding because not everybody can read it especially if English is not their primary language stick to a basic font I'm not trying to get cute with the with the writing. Hey, Dragon Beach Resort. Jumped in Bataya. Some more 
chairs. Just want to get some fresh coconuts. You see, again, when you get underneath these trees, the temperature just drops 20 degrees. So if you're thinking about going to the beach, don't think, hey, it's too hot. You just got to get under here. There's a nice breeze coming through. Get under one of these beach chairs. Rim Lake restaurant bar sort of a little open air type spot there's a swimming pool on the far side beautiful place natural park resort and then i'm gonna look to my left and what do i see but one more 7-eleven at soy 17. Gentleman over there working a barbecue grill like a champion. I'm telling you folks here, you, you don't gotta walk very far to get some absolutely delicious food at a very, very reasonable price. You know, get these questions asked, right? If you've never traveled before, you'll ask these questions. Is it safe to eat the street food? In Thailand, absolutely yes be the best the most delicious cheapest price food you've ever ate in your life I love it um, contrast to the PI no I don't eat the street food not anymore maybe a piece of chicken but predominantly no okay the place is called Eris oh wow chicken of a king pasty white oh my goodness you need some sun. Uh, yeah, here in Thailand, that's why you come to Thailand is to eat the food. We don't call it street food here; just call it food. Uh, in the PI, be careful about eating food off the street. All right, what's this place here? Sushi bar. Coming up on Soy 18. Coming up on uh, Lumpini Park Beach. And yet another restaurant. This gentleman over here is chopping up a coconut. really what I need to rehydrate right here is coconut. That's what he crap. the cottages and rooms. It looks beautiful. I'm in Thai Resort, John T. It's right next to Lumpini Park Beach here. I've been in Lumpini Park Beach. Beautiful little condos. Folks, if you come here as a bachelor or you're just going to have one girlfriend, there are so many options and places to stay in Padia. Oh my god, there's so many options. The rent is very is so reasonable. You know, all these places, most of them got nice swimming pools. All kinds of amenities. You know, I get these questions, right? Hey, where, where's a where, where can I get a where can I get a cheap apartment in Patia? Holy shit. Oh my gosh. All you gotta do is walk out the door and and uh, look at any direction that's how many room options there are here that's so difficult that's like saying hey what's a good restaurant and there are thousands of good restaurants right wow nice and cool in the shade I'm a lady 
had a lady friend back there that I was following. Well, I wasn't following her. She got in front of me. And then she thinks she's following me. Pretty lady. Worst things that can happen to a dude. Okay, but I got to stay focused on this tour. Because this is a very important part of the tour up here on the left. It's called Just Burgers. Just Burgers. Like an American backyard burger. on the grill and I'm actually craving a burger right there just burgers it's right in front of this Metro John Tien condo tell you know what I'll take you over here and show you the sign because I'm not sure when I'll get over here to eat I got to get over here and eat, but let me just show you the sign here. There you go, just burgers. Uh, double cheeseburger, 215. Ooh, jalapeno cheeseburger, 169. Super burger, 235. Bacon, chicken, cheese. And this place has expanded. They built it out since the first time I was I used to come here. And staff wanted if you're looking for a job, but right here, right next to this uh, John T. and Condo Hotel, you can sit there at the bar. Oh, they got nice little couches over here, even got a TV now, so they've expanded. But anyhow, just burgers, you're looking for a great hamburger right here with a view of the beach. Come to Just Burgers, tell them Marco sent you. If that the lady that was in there that's not my friend that worked here for years I don't think she's here anymore I could conclude this walking tour and just go back there and eat at Just Burgers <laughs> would anybody object we'd lose count of how many 7-Elevens And somebody might say, oh, you old, old bald-headed bastard couldn't walk from one end of Jump Tin Beach to the other. Well, guess what, big pimping? I'm going all the way. I'm going all the way. Ain't nothing you do to try to deter me from that. All right, get some fruit, noodles, little... I think this is a bar for the buffet, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. Yeah, it looks like a buffet. But it's underneath these trees, it's shaded, it's cool. You know, a lot of these places don't open till later. Alright, now here's the sign. For Nye John Tien Beach. And maybe that is the official DMZ or borderline. I don't know. But for me, until the end of this road is John Tien Beach. And then when you cut that corner, that becomes Nye John Tien. But boy, what do I know? I'm not the one in charge of the signs or the maps. But now that's a, that sign says from this point on, you're Nye John Tien. You gotta add an NA to it. Construction. Looks like they're about to demo down that old building. Come back up with a new complex. That's what you see here in Thailand, folks. Progress. Patio Marriott Resort and Spa. At John Tien Beach. Wow. Yeah, so they're gonna they're gonna rip down that old ass building, get that monolith out of there and there you go i'm gonna have a new marriott right here right here near the end of john tian beach or if you want to go with the sign uh right at the border of na john tian cool marriott i'm a hilton diamond player myself but i guess i could be persuaded to 
check out the Myriad from time to time as well. If you twist my arm. Food going on here. And what do we got? Oh, man, it's got all kinds of stuff going on. Nice fish. Is this a 7 Eleven? No, it's a family mart. Keep pushing. Pushing southbound. I can almost see the end of this journey. Some of y'all thought that I wasn't going to make it. Old ball headed fat bastard couldn't walk from one end of John Tien Beach to the other in the hot tropical Southeast Asia heat I could walk all the way to Sata Hip if I wanted to don't underestimate the old ball-headed fat bastard across the road Still pushing, headed towards the pine trees. KP, Sea View, jumped in. Man, you see that KP? What's that remind y'all? Pots and pans. Pots and pans. Now, that almost looks like a 7 Eleven, but that's not. It's called KS Supermarket. We'll pass these gentlemen here. They're rocking them red pants. Rodina, Zen, Murata. Beautiful little place out there. Pool area. There's a pool area here in front of this next one. Then out here you got nothing but 100 meters, 100 plus meters of beautiful beach. 150 meters. And you got a pool in front of this place that sort of looks like a boat. It's like a cargo ship cross between the cargo ship and the love boat. Nice pool out there though. Alright, since there's nothing but hot sun, I'm gonna float over to the more interesting side. Double time across the road there. There you go. Longest rooftop happy hour. What is this? Cafe bar by salt. Seafood barbecue on Friday and Saturday, 690 baht per person. Longest rooftop happy hour right here at this beautiful building. Uh, what is this picnic on the beach starting at 390? That's uh, organized by the this cafe bar right here. I better pay attention before I get run over. Scoot around these vehicles. Yeah, right there. Rooftop bar. Salt restaurant. Cafe bar. Beautiful spot here. Got those wooden tables and wood chairs. Oh, yeah. I might have to stop in here, but you know what? I don't want nobody to accuse me of not being able to complete the mission. Begin. Wow, this is beautiful here. Well, maybe I'll stop in here. Just for the atmosphere underneath these trees. But folks, mission accomplishment is always 51%. Welfare to men is 49%. That means my welfare about drinking beer has to wait. Because that 1% mission accomplishment outweighs my desire to get a cold beer and cool off. Get some delicious Thai food. I got to make it to the end. Pass the crab. Cut the left and then I'll be free. It'll be mission accomplished. little eating area up there it's 
Sutton Grex since 1971. There's a Chong beer. I'm seeing how man. BS okay, back in meltdown mode. I'm not getting I don't know if this GoPro is going to make it. It's in bad shape right now. It's called Reflection, John T. and Beach Patty. A tall building right there. I'm not sure if the GoPro is going to make it. But old ball headed fat bastards pushing southbound. Can't nothing stop me now. It's like a fucking freight train on a downhill slope coming into the station. No brakes. Be very easy to give up and jump on that bot bus right there. Pay 10 bot and hold this camera out the side of that to give you the last bit of view, but I'm not doing it. I'm not ready to give up. John Tien Chalet. I don't know anything about them chalets. They never stayed there. Don't know if they're even open. Beautiful place though. Look at that little bridge going over the, the moat, the canal, like Venice. I probably sweat about a kilo. A little bit of sweat. You know, not a full sweat because I'm not running. If you want to really work out, you got to run. You can't walk. Well. I don't know, I lost 30 pounds by when I first moved to Thailand. All I ate was Thai food and I walked five clicks a day. Lost 30 pounds. So you can lose weight by walking, but it takes, it takes longer. If you really want to lose weight, you gotta take your ass around the track at a high rate of speed. Just like I took you on a high rate of speed from Soy 6 all the way to Walking Street the other day. Got a little road construction on this soy. Ice cream spot, ice queen. Coming up on sense. Sense of the sea. Summer, Summer Beach Surf Club. On the left side, the fourth side here. Three beautiful ladies. Oh, they got little swings in there, chairs. See those swings? You sit out there and swing. There you go, sense of the sea. Cool place at night. Come here at night. Listen to the band. If they got a band these days. Looking along here, trying not to get run over. Coming up on this blue crab. Almost to the end. Oh, ball headed fat bastard. This is called the number one. Looks like it's seen its better days. Oh, shit. Damn dog scared the piss out of me. I didn't see him in the bushes. Yeah, 10 10 about to give me a heart attack. His soy dog caused a cardiac arrest. He's camouflaged in the bushes. Wow, these beautiful flowers mingling in amongst this green here. That pink among the green is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The old ball headed fat bastards coming up to the end. This here walking tour. Look at this beautiful place. It's one of the most popular seafood restaurants. Well, I would say the most popular in John Pien, if not all the patio. Right here down on the end next to that crab. I walk over here to give you for scale how big that crab is. Know. What's up, people? Fatima, baby. 
I think you could eat all that crab. What y'all think? Y'all think wife number two could eat that big crab? I think she could. She love to eat crab. Don't worry, baby. I'll take you here soon enough. All right, and uh, always a crowd here, right? I mean, the only reason this outside area is not packed is because it's the middle of the day. And it's sun beating down. But the inside is already starting to fill up. It is filled up. And then, like I said, Patty's the uh, Thailand's only place where you can be eating at a restaurant. And the restaurant pulls up. You order some food, and nobody cares. You want some squid? Go ahead. You want some fruit? Go ahead. My thing like. If the, if the more of the world was like my pen rye, it will be a wonderful place. So, anyhow, one of the most popular places right there at the Blue Crab. It doesn't matter if I tell you the name in Thai or what have you. It's easier to remember that Blue Crab at the end of John T. And Beach. There you go. Almost to the end. Some of y'all of little faith didn't think I would make it to the end. You thought, oh, it'd get too hot. He can't walk that far. He'll stop and get a beer. He's an alcoholic. Always drinking too much. But you know what? Uh, where there's a will, there's a way. I'm not going to let my legs tell me when to stop. I told my legs when to stop. All right, so here we go. Enough of the philosophy. Let's get back to talking about food. All right, mango, sticky rice. Mm, mm -mm, that is so delicious. Come to Thailand, you got to get the mango and the sticky rice. Okay, so right here at this corner, this is the other popular place. And I don't know if they're associated at the same place, or, you know, I don't know. Give me two geographical locations. And with that, go right here. I made it. From one end of John Tien Beach to the other. Like I said, they say this is John, not John Tien in this section, but... For me, this is the end of John Tien Beach. And then when you go around that corner, then, you, then you're not John Tien, but who knows? And then looking over that way, that's where that canal is, where I'm gonna eat by the canal. And that jetty, that pier over there, that's the peninsula that leads to, it's the dead end peninsula, but on the other side is my place called Drifter's Beach Cafe. So, like right now, you could walk over there when the tide comes up, you can't. And you can't take your motorbike or your car. What you gotta do is go around this way to get down there. So there you go, my friends. Here is your pretty complete tour, walk a tour of John Tien Beach area here in the beautiful Patty Thailand. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the show and go hunt down something to drink. Thank y'all for joining me. Certainly appreciate all your support. Old bald headed fat bastard. Enjoying life. This place here, under construction. It's a concrete shell. Actually looks kind of pretty. I'm not sure what the status of that building is. It's like a beautiful concrete monolith. All right, so change plan, plans, folks. I, uh, oh my goodness, wow. Wow. A little change plans. Uh, because today is the, it's part of, uh, well, it's been like a four-day weekend between Coronation Day and something to do with the election. I'm not even sure if they're selling beer today. I said, you know what? You know where I know where some beer is? It's ice cold. Back at the crib. I'm going to raid the ref. Working on my 
17. So that's the end of the tour. It's over. You ain't got to go home, but you got to get the hell up out of here. Because I've been jet flying and I'm seeing it around the world. Ooh, daddy, you messing with the nature boy. Again, get busy living, get busy dying. Ain't no in between. How many is that? Ha, 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 ha.